Hi everyone, Jeff Lee here with Able Cindy New York. Uh, you may notice there's a lot of pieces of gear around me, and the reason for that is because today I wanted to talk to you about a new relationship that Able Cindy has formed with Kessler Crane. Now, Kessler Crane, I'm sure, is a household name to many of you, uh, you know, for making jibs and dollies and sliders and things that really sort of add movement and a dynamic look to your shots. Uh, but the reason for this relationship is that we are now able to add a sort of brick and mortar, hands on approach to some of the gear. You can come into any of the three Able locations demo, pick up, play with any of the, or some of the gear that Kessler makes uh, and get a feel for it and see how it fits into your production world. Uh, if you really think about it, the two companies have sort of a similar beginning. You know, we both started serving the independent filmmaker market and throughout the years have grown to the point where we're now serving you know, budgets of all sizes, whether you be an independent filmmaker to you know, the highest budget blockbuster uh, feature. Uh, so again, this relationship makes a lot of sense and it's really cool and I'm really excited to be able to offer some of the stuff that you can come in and play with and, and look at. Uh, so today I did want to just talk about three of the items that Kessler makes. You know, they make a lot of different things, but we just want to focus on three today. In front of me on this table here is the Cine Slider. Uh, they're available in two different sizes. This is the five foot model, but there's also a three foot model as well. This is the larger of the sliders that Kessler offers. Uh, this will do 80 pounds of weight on the camera deck here. Belt driven, just like all the other ones. You may notice that we also have the outrigger feet on it, which is great for uneven surfaces. Of course, I'm on a table, so it's not totally necessary. But if you are out on uh, rocky terrain, you can use the feet to you know, level yourself out a little bit. You can also uh, attach a tripod to either side and a light stand on the other side or two tripods, however you want to do it if you want to float the camera or float the deck up above. Uh, you also have an adjustable hand reel. This is sort of what makes the Cine slider do its magic. This hand reel here, uh, as you slide it in and out, will adjust, adjust the ratio. You know, the, more rotations means faster travel or you know, slower travel, depending on what you're trying to do or how slow you're trying to move it. You also have on the other side a friction wheel. This will control how much resistance you know, is required to turn the whole deck you know, for larger or faster or slower move. You don't actually need to use the wheel, of course. You can always just grab the camera and move it left and right. But it's nice that it is a belt driven. It does give you that option and does slide very smoothly on these rails. I also have here the Philip Bloom uh, pocket dolly. This is uh, very similar to the traditional pocket dolly. The only difference is besides this really cool red paint job is that the Philip Bloom edition inherits this wheel from the Cine slider. It's kind of a hybrid mode. So versus the traditional bigger wheel of the pocket dolly, you get the more adjustable wheel from the Cine slider. Uh, Philip Bloom edition or any of the pocket dolly editions are available uh, all the way from 13 inches of travel to 31 inches of travel with a standard. This is what I have here. Uh, currently, I have a motor attached to it, the Electra Drive motor. Uh, they're available in different ratios, gear ratios. So depending on the amount of weight or which slider you're putting it on, what the type of moves you might be using, you, you can choose which motor makes the most sense. Right now, it's being controlled by the, um, the basic controller. This is a rather simple device, but this lets me do continuous mode, momentary mode, or a burst mode for like time lapses. So you can put it on the table or flat surface. You can use the outrigger feet that you saw for the Cindy sliders if you're on uneven surfaces or terrain. You can also mount it on a tripod. So right now I have it attached in the center to the Hercules head, uh, which gives me the option to actually pan and tilt the entire slider, which can kind of create some really cool, interesting moves that you don't always see. You can also mount it on a standard tripod, you know, put a tripod on one end and a C-stand on the other, or two tripods if you have them available. Uh, very flexible, there's a lot of mounting points on this, there's a lot of mounting holes that you can use to rig this to uh, whatever you have available to you. I also have here the pocket jib, which collapses quite small, uh, has a maximum reach of about five feet. Uh, will hold about 20 pounds at maximum extension, or 40 pounds if you pull it back in all the way. Whole unit collapses on itself, you know, the, the camera deck slides around, uh, Weight area also telescopes in to uh, compact down to a very small nature. Whole unit only weighs about 21 pounds, so very manageable, single owner operator. You know, I set this up by myself. It only took me a few minutes. Uh, so again, really nice compact system for some really nice, beautiful moves. So hopefully I was able to give you a little bit of an overview and kind of snapshot of the different pieces of uh, equipment that Kessler Crane makes. You know, obviously the word crane is the name of the company. It doesn't mean they make just cranes. Uh, you know, again, we have a lot of different pieces to the puzzle that will really help, you know, sort of elevate your production values. Uh, and again, this whole relationship makes a lot of sense and works because you are now able to come in and look at this gear. So I really want to invite you uh, and I welcome you to come in play with this gear, demo it, call us, email us, whatever it may be, uh, and we'll be here to help. Uh, that's it for now. I'll catch you next time.